USID Pizza. First, what we have to do is we have to mount everything. Guys, please back up all your data and your apps. For that, I have done a backup of mine. I've already told you in my previous video, or I'll make a separate video on that. There is an app called Migrate. You can migrate all your apps and your data from one room to another easily. I've already done that. See, this is the backup. I took it yesterday. So let's start by installing the new room. Uh, first, wipe up, wipe out your data. Go to advanced wipe, press Dalvi, system, data, cache. That's it. Don't wipe internal storage or vendor. Now, swipe to wipe. Select where your file is. This is my file, USIP 9.0 Pizza Wins. Yeah, the ROM has been uh, flashed, so let's reboot the system. Okay, this is the new uh, EOS IP boot image. This looks nice. This is the home screen of the EOS IP Pizza ROM. So let's check out its features. Let's go to settings. I'll show you. First, go to the systems, about phone. Android 9, yes. This is Android 9, EOS IP build 9.0 Pizza wins, and it has a security patch level of 5 November. I've installed G apps, the micro version of the G apps. So let's explore uh, what default applications we get with uh, this ROM. We're getting the basic calculator app, the Google calculator app, the calendar. The clock, the gallery. The gallery is good. I like that. Now let us see any wallpapers. Only a single wallpaper they have provided. Yeah. Let us go to the settings. Over here we can find the customization, Owl's Nest, its name. These are the status bar customizations, battery percentage, battery style, carrier link. Let us see uh, what we have in clock options. Uh, we can show seconds. We can change the alignment, left, center, right. Then let us see what we have in icons, customization, status bar icons. Um, these are all the options. Then we have the network traffic option, show net activity. Okay, let's go into the quick settings. We can toggle on and off the brightness slider. Now it's gone, see. And we can move it to the bottom also. Now it is in the bottom. We can change the animations. If I press flip, let us see. Hmm. I don't see any difference. Okay, rotate. Hmm. It's not working. Then what we have in the navigation, we can change the navigation layout. We can invert the layout. Say I'm comfortable with the right hand side back button. I'm used to that. So we can do that. Then we have some hardware button tweaks. We can add advanced reboot screenshot. See, this is reboot advanced screenshot. We can change the screen of animation also. Simple fade, color fade, CRT scale. Then in the recent styles, um, we have some options.
let's go into the gestures uh, customizations these are the eosp gestures here we can activate the swipe up to home button the recent menu we can enable full gesture mode see here we won't get that back button but we can go back by swiping swiping to the left see now it is working and swiping right we can go to the previous app okay i'll install pubg on this mobile and then i'll show you the review of that game this is the pubg gaming performance on this mobile Uh, I have set the graphics to the smooth and uh, the frame rate to the high. We cannot change. Uh, we can go for the balanced also, but that one is okay. Smooth and high frame rate. Oh, oh, high. Let's check how it, the game goes. Till now, there is no lag. Working fine. The gameplay is very smooth. Graphics are good also. Guys, go for this ROM if you want a gaming ROM. Redmi Note 5. Thank you very much guys for watching my video. I'm ending my video here. Uh, this is Girish signing off from Geeky Girish. Thank you and let me know in the comment section below if you want anything else uh, in, about this.